James Luongo, and I built my practice my way. Practice is, uh, it's a solo practice. It's just myself as an advisor and um, uh, my wife, Gail, is um, support staff as well as uh, Barbara. Um, so it's just the, the three of us here in the office. I think my, my niche market, it's really not, it's more general, but I'm focusing on pre-retirees who I wanna work with and it's really to help pre-retirees and retirees. What we offer the clients is, I offer the clients four different types of services. A wealth management plan, um, which includes a financial plan and investment management. So that's one plan um, that I offer. A second plan would be just a financial plan for those clients that don't want me to manage their assets, but they want to do a financial plan. And we would charge a fee for that. Um, a third offering would be just something that would be more of a review, a financial review. For somebody that doesn't necessarily want to do a full-blown plan, but they want to know, well, where am I today? How, how do I look? You know, I want, a, I want a second opinion, that type of thing. And then the fourth offering would be an hourly consultant. Um, so I've, I've actually devised these, these different um, services and uh, communicate that with you know, prospective clients. As far as a value proposition, uh, obviously what we want to do is have a major impact on our clients' lives. Um, our clients know that we care, we listen to them, um, and we make sure that, that they're understood. So we use financial planning to establish clear goals and to help our clients understand where they are, where they are going, and what they need to do next. I've often communicated to my clients in the past the importance of, of not just focusing on how much wealth can you, can, can you uh, accumulate, um, but also some of the other important aspects of life. And I will continue to have more of these conversations with clients. The main reason I'm doing the financial planning with clients is more defense than offense. I, I want to retain these clients and this year I have not lost a single client. Um, and uh, I want clients to see more value. In other words, I want to offer them more value. Going forward though, for our new clients, uh, especially if I get the new clients from something other than a referral, um, I will charge a fee, a financial planning fee, because I don't know if they're going to move the assets, um, you know, for sure. And, but I think that for my existing clients, at least um, the, what I categorize as the A and B clients, that I will do the financial planning uh, for free. So, I did write a book and the name of the book is A Comprehensive Guide to Health and Wealth Management for a Worry-Free Retirement. So the purpose of the book is that I wanted to um, come across with my clients and prospects the message that in order to have a good worry-free retirement, you know, a good, long, lengthy and active worry-free retirement, I think it's important to not only focus on focus in on building your wealth and getting everything in order, but also to having good health. I ended up sending a copy of this book to all of my clients, uh, to some prospects, and to my uh, centers of influence. But it's part of my marketing going forward is I'm going to utilize the book as, as you know, to leverage my marketing, um, and I'm also going to create a webinar. Um, the webinar is going to be from the concepts of the book. You know, initially, um, I had been focusing on doing seminars, and I had done some seminars in the past with very mixed results. But I've decided in this 
um, post-COVID world that, that we're going to be in, that I think that webinars are going to continue um, to, to, um, uh, to, 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 to be the way that advisors um, try and gain new clients. I mean, video conferencing is um, probably the most significant change that I made because prior to this, I had no clue how to use Zoom or WebEx or any of the other things. And, um, uh, you know, once I got to know it and got comfortable with it, um, we offered to everyone to do. Um, I prefer, actually prefer it over a phone call because I think it's, you know, it may not be exactly a face-to-face -face meeting, but it's much better, I think, than a phone call. You know, you can see your clients, you can talk to your clients in, 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 in person. And um, uh, in fact, you know, people will often say, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll see you next week, even though they know it's virtual, you know, because they are seeing you. That's what I'm trying to do here is, is, is make my practice a more virtual practice. And one of the things that I'm sort of toying with the idea of is actually um, living in two states. Um, if I have a virtual practice, it doesn't matter where I do my video conferences from. So I'm in New Jersey right now. I would love to be in Florida. And my goal is to maybe spend three, four months in Florida um, and avoid the cold winters of the Northeast. So if, if I can, continue to do this um, with clients, then we're not going to miss a beat.